Yeah, we did some cleaning here to to get some space. And uh, for the repair today, we're gonna we're gonna do this Samsung UN fifty five H six three five zero EF. So this TV it turns on. It has no image, no picture. The backlight is not on. Completely the screen dark. The backlight, and there is no image too. There is no data on the screen. But there is a sound, like I can see the, the light is flashing. Yeah, you can hear the sound. But there is no data in the TV. So let me get the flashlight. Yeah, there is no no picture on the screen. This is not a backlight issue. It's not every dark screen is a backlight. Yeah, I'm gonna click again, <laughs> and she'll be here. The the option, the bar and option. There is nothing. This is the TV inside. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check if this, uh, how is the backlight in this TV. So how we're going to check, we're going to disconnect this cable that's going to the main board. When we disconnect for a regular TV, you plug the TV to the power. And the power board, it will be in the standby, waiting for the, the own the p on voltage to turn on the other voltage as a backlight from the main board the samsung tvs all you have to do is disconnect the main board and that's going to turn on the backlight and other voltages in the power board so this is a good option to good option to test the backlight so i'm going to Plug the TV to the power. You can see the backlight is on. So that's telling us the power board is good. The backlight is good. So let's plug back the main board. So I do, I plug the TV to the power again. And I did see the LED light is on. So optical port is on. And let's check some voltages. So this is very important voltages for the TV for the picture is this volt here and this fuse. So we put the multimeter in the in the voltage mode. Then we test in this fuse we have 12 volt this side and the other side of the fuse we have 12 volts. So we have 12 volts here. So there is a power going to the check on but we have no picture. Another test. Let's unplug this one. We're gonna unplug these two cables and we're going to see if the T cone is going to send the signal to the main board that is going to send the signal to the power board to turn on the backlight and look uh, here we have some different this LED and this LED is on at the first it was just this one so you need to to be like watch for any change so there is a difference here and 
and we have a backlight over there. So when we disconnect the screen, the signal for to turn on the backlight is back active. So that's good. So there is the chicken, it should be doing their job. It just something from these flex cables to the screen. That's what is the problem. So let's connect just one flex cable. We have the two LEDs lights are on. We have the backlight, but we don't have no data at all. So we disconnect. So unplug the TV, disconnect this one, plug back the TV. We have the two LEDs are on. No picture at all. So disconnect this one, no picture, disconnect this one, no picture. But there is some change when I connect both of them. Let me connect it again. You see this light it turns on, that goes off. It doesn't stay on. All right. So let's take. So let's check the panel boards. These two boards here. And we're going to see if there is any shirt that's causing this LED to go off. This LED, when it's go off, is mean the voltages go up, then it's go down. Usually, when the voltages go down, there is a shirt. So let's try to find out. So on the match mirror, we put this one. To check the the shirt, this one on the ground. Then we start testing. So we test in the diodes. So it is here in the diode. This capacitor. So we have. These two big capacitors here are tested as a short. Show here. Yeah. So let's see how many on in this one. Go where you are. Yeah, there is about six ohm. So this is a real uh, this is full short. So Let's start. disconnect this one where the the board is connected because I want to see if the shirt in the board or here or here. If I disconnect this one and the shirt is gone, we're gonna have the shirt here or here. So let's check here and the same capacitor. Go this one here. So the shirt is gone. So let's test capacitors here. Yeah, and this big capacitor we have a shirt. So yeah, and this big capacitor here. We have a shirt. So I'm going to disconnect this one here 
and that's going to tell me if the shirt is here or here. So let's check again. We still have the shirt. So the cheek on is doing nothing with this shirt. The shirt is in this board. So let this more capacitors here. This is shirted. This one. This one. This one. So all the B capacitors are shorted. So could be one of these capacitor that's causing the short. We can't take all of them to see uh, to check the short. Let's do the the inject uh, the voltage. Pause it. Yeah. So the Emir technician is going to help us to find the short. What are we going to do now? We're going to put this one in the ground. Okay, the black one in the ground. Good. And we turn on the power supply. And so let's move the voltage to the half, like less than 2 volt. Yeah, move it a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, that's good enough. And we put that one in the bottom of the capacitor so we see this one is going up yeah use this hand yeah, be, be careful to don't touch something else just that one and you can see here the amps is going up this mean the shorted uh, the shorted component is taking some amps okay that's good that's good yeah that's good enough and we start touching to see what capacitor is getting hot mm -hmm. next is here mm -hmm. you still yeah still have the amps Here. That's the one is getting hot? Yeah, over So here. that's the one is bad. All right. Yeah, can you put it? Let me check. Yep, that's the one is getting hot. So let's use, out? no, let's use some alcohol. Oh. Which one it was? I think it was this one. Yep, this one. Okay, let's put some alcohol in it. Okay, use the alcohol? port. Yeah, put the. Yeah. Getting hotter? Yeah, you see the capacitor is get dry. So that's the Quick. bad capacitor. Capacitor, right? Uh, oh, you got it out? Yeah, so we just put it on the side over there. Wave it there for a minute? Yeah. So we're going to test if that's the bad capacitor. Go to that back capacitor. I hear nothing. Hmm. I still have. Is it here? 
No. Maybe it was here. Yeah, we take a wrong capacitor. No, so, we didn't. Yeah, so that's why it's good we didn't leave this capacitor. So here, we fix that one. Let's take this one here. That's the one it was. I think it's not. Let's see. So here. Yep, that's the bad capacitor. And then this capacitor and the capacitor place, it's no short. So here there is a short in the capacitor. So let me remove this capacitor. That look like that look like metal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's some metal. So that's the bad capacitor that's causing the yeah, this is the bad capacitor that's causing the short. Pause. Keep going. Yeah, pause. We're going to plug the TV. So we can test it. Yeah. Thank you, my technician. You can see now all the LEDs, three of them is on. good. So that's a good change. We have the backlight is on. These two flex cable, both of them are connected. Let's uh, take the TV, see if we can see any picture. Voila. We have HDMI 1, no signal. That's great. Yeah, the TV fixed it and it works. So I'm gonna put it together. We put a uh, something to the uh, HDMI and we see how the colors uh, look like. It's clear. So this is the colors, how the TV look like, and uh, yeah, everything looks good. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe if you want to see more repair videos. And uh, see you again.